itself, as you can see, there's two different sizes here that we have. We have a, a larger one, 200 watt. Also, we have this uh, smaller portable size, 50 watt. Anybody home? All right. We're gonna go build a fire or else power up the cabin. All right, let me see the back side. So here we got a 12 volt light. Uh, it's just an RV light. Go outside. Got the cord out of the cabin. Pulled it right through the wall. Here's our cable, solar panel, and also to our uh, solar controller. So you can see where we're gonna connect. I'm gonna talk about this one. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna talk, look at this one, and we're gonna look at this one. All right. We're gonna look at the components on a basic solar setup. Solar panels, batteries, and, and uh, the inverters and things like that. So I want you to walk with me, journey with me, as we do a solar setup, whether it's for a small cabin, off-grid cabin, uh, maybe you have a shed uh, of some sort or a small building that you wanna have solar into. So we're gonna look at what it takes to get a solar setup going. Okay. Uh, First things first is the solar panel itself. As you can see, there's two different sizes here that we have. We have a, a larger one, 200 watt. Also, we have this uh, smaller portable size, 50 watt. So you wanna see if you can locate some solar panels and roughly they're about $1 a watt. So you should be able to find a 50 watt for around $50, roughly, just again, estimate uh, for a 200 watt panel estimate around $200. So you wanna find first some solar panels. Then if you come over here, you wanna look for a battery. Uh, here we have a 12 volt marine lead acid battery. Whether you go with a lead acid battery or a lithium battery, I guess see what you can find. You can either make a 12 volt pack or a 24, uh, 24 volt pack. Uh, also next you can see that we have a, uh, a solar charge controller so this is part of the devices that you're going to need also you're going to look for a power inverter and whether you find a 2000 watt 1000 watt 4000 watt you just need a, a power inverter to hook to your battery and then you also have some outputs 110 115 outputs on here uh, this is just a portable solar pack that we'll talk about in a different video. But again, we have one, two, three, four main components for our, our solar system. And then we're gonna take a look and then we're gonna walk through each of this as we put them together. On all solar charge controllers, you'll find the connection spots. And also look at the symbols. You can see the positive and the negative for the solar panel, the positive and the negative for the battery. And then if you have any devices, uh, lights here, positive, negative, input there as well. So we're gonna start with the battery and we're gonna hook up these, these wires right here and we're gonna connect them up to the battery. So what you want to do for ends, you can either crimp on some ends, put some, or just connect them with a bolt like this and this, and then put them on. We're going to make our setup a little bit more portable. 
so we can hook up the panels. And then we can wheel this around where we want it to go. Okay, so we're hooking up our negative to the inverter side, our negative to the negative side of the inverter. We hooked up our positive. Sorry I didn't have any red wire, but we are connected to the positive side of the inverter and the battery here. Okay, we're gonna put our charge controller somewhere on our wheelie cart here. Just trying to find a good spot where we can mount this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wheel this around to a spot and then we're gonna hook it up to the solar panel outside. So let's just take a moment and figure out how we can set this up. Down here. Oops, I'm gonna get the wrench back. We need a block of wood. I don't know, about so big, so tall. Let's see if we can find a block. Okay. raise this up a little bit right here so let's go like this set our inverter right up here for now then we can mount mount this and I think maybe we'll mount the charge controller either this way for the wire axis or yeah, I mean, this is gonna be all inside for now. There's really, I mean, we're worried about if it was outside getting rain or something in there, but just for what we're doing, we can see our symbols and we can see our wire inputs if we mount the charge controller right there. Okay, I have a brilliant idea. There's your first. Yes, first time we are going to put it this way, I guess we, we can't. There was my brilliant idea. What if we put it sideways? Here, we can wheel the, we can wheel the cart around where we need it. So we'll screw this down, we can screw that down. And then lastly, we'll hook up the solar panel. Good, and then we'll put one of these under here. How's it going? Looks tighter than it looks because there's no <laughs> holes. You set it in. Maybe we should drill a couple holes first. Gently, per gently persuade it with this. these up to the battery hook the positive sorry actually hooking up two wires here one to the inverter one to the charge controller positive positive and we got the okay, we'll tighten up this Again, this is just a temporary setup. Okay, is light has been activated on the charge controller. You see a blinking red light, low power. Just to show you, we are need to charge the battery. We're going to go to our digital multimeter. Direct volt, straight line, red minus, you can see the, we're at, we're at about six volts. So we have a pretty dead, very dead DC battery here. So we're gonna see if we can charge this for 
a while using the solar panels. All right, so we're gonna push this over right here to the garage door, run the solar panel outside and run the cable underneath the door and hook that up. We have it adapted now to our plug, just to verify the sun is shining outside, low in the sky. We're gonna connect here and you can see we are pulling 31, 32 volts right off the solar panel. Now we'll connect this up to the charge controller Connect the charge controller. Okay, you can now see the solar panel blinking green. And you can see there is a work mode light change here. And we'll verify our battery. is jumping around nine volts well that's it for today but if you would like to follow along and build your first solar power system please hit subscribe and you will see us finish off on this project that we have started here